But we are going to start this afternoon with an update on the mass shooting that happened here in Buffalo May 14th. Just a few hours ago, the white teenager accused of shooting and killing 10 black people was arraigned in court. Ron Plants was there, and while cameras were not allowed, he is joining me live now with the latest on what happened today. Hi, Ron. So we're just... So it was really more of a formality in Erie County Court this afternoon, but this is all part of a process in the legal proceeding. And once again, the Buffalo shooting suspect was in front of a judge this time to hear the specific new charges against him. And this time, frustration and emotional family members spoke out as well. The 18-year-old suspect again shackled in an orange jumpsuit as seen in the video here heard more of the details of the 25 count state indictment that includes murder for all 10 fatal shooting victims as well as three attempted murder charges and then a separate weapons charge and finally the charge of domestic terrorism motivated by hate. Through one of his court appointed defense attorneys, the suspect pleaded not guilty. The suspect faces life in prison without parole upon conviction. He was obviously remanded without bail to the holding center where he has been held in isolation on suicide watch. Now, after this arraignment, we did hear from some of the family members of shooting victim Marcus Morrison, and they say they want to get a message across to prosecutors. Information in regards to how this is being handled on a much higher level, and I don't want to hear about gun, gun restrictions. I don't want to hear about gun regulations because less guns and more guns, none of that is going to help anything. This was a systematic decision to go and research a place, and the reason that he could do it is because Buffalo lets it happen. Buffalo allowed for a food desert. Buffalo allows for people to go hungry. Buffalo allows for people to live in this kind of community and get no real help and no real resources. The district attorney's office says that they've been speaking with the families who apparently feel they need more details about what is involved in this case. We also want to point out that there is an ongoing federal investigation in this case as well, and the possibility of federal charges in another indictment with the possibility that those charges could carry the death penalty. So again, Ron Plants is covering this story for us today, and he is going to have much more coming up at 5.